Atlanta, Georgia, October 7th, Sean Newcomb. Photo by Rob Carr, Getty Images, Sean Newcomb is looking to make the jump in his big league career from, young guy still trying to figure things out, to, legitimate upper rotation arm. The Atlanta Braves would certainly reap the benefits of having, Nuke, show that kind of growth in his third season, but will it happen? For the optimist, the first thought that comes to mind when seeing the name, Sean Newcomb, would be that marvelous July afternoon when he came this close to no hitting one of the most potent lineups in the National League. They'd tell you it's proof that the kid has the stuff to be the real deal. They would probably remind you that at the All-Star break in July, Newcomb had a 3.51 era and a tolerable 1.27 whip for the realist. They'd probably remind you that Newcomb is still just 25 years old and trying to find his way in this level of baseball. They'd tell you of the usual ebbs and flows that a pitcher his age likely experiences in his development. For the pessimist, it's likely they'd focus on something that has plagued Newcomb dating back to his minor league years, bases on balls. Oh, those walks. It's been brutal for Newcomb regarding the free pass. His 5.13 BB, 9, walks per 9 innings, in 2017 did slightly improve to 4.45 in 2018, but that is still entirely too high to live comfortably in this league. Spring training results haven't restored belief, as Nuke has walked an incredulous 7.94 batters per 9 innings this preseason. So where does the truth lie about what kind of 2019 we can expect from the 6 feet 5 inches southpaw? Is he set to elevate his career to the next level, similarly to how his rotation mate Mike Foltinevich did in 2018? Or are his wars as a pitcher simply too much to ever fully overcome? One thing is for certain, with the volume of promising arms knocking at the door of the majors for the Atlanta Braves, 2019 could prove to be highly pivotal in Sean Newcomb's young career. Next, projections for Sean Newcomb, page 2 NEW York, NY, September 26, Sean Newcomb. Photo by Elsa, Getty Images, Sean Newcomb's high ceiling, low floor makeup as a pitcher is evident to those who have watched him in Atlanta for the last two years. What do the projections say about 2019? Here's four of them. Baseball reference has Newcomb finishing with an era of 3.93, almost identical to 2018's 3.90, and a 4.2 BB, 9, slightly better than a season ago. They also project a whip of 1.34, which is again nearly spot on to last year's average. Steamer also projects, over 23 games started, that walks will continue to be a problem for Newcomb, 4.38 per 9 innings, and that the era will actually increase, 4.17, though they are more bullish on his strikeout. Capability for 2019, projecting a rise in Nukes K, 9-9.24, Fantrax refers to Newcomb's projected 2019 as a year in which he will be a whip liability, though he should average about a strikeout per inning pitched. They also add that given his control issues that reaching 180 innings pitched is a stretch, this is a common thought in most projections. Finally, Rotochamp also sees Newcomb with an era north of 4.00, a whip around the same as last year, 1.39, and far fewer than 180 innings pitched 161. These projections aren't exactly on the optimistic side of things, but it's worth pointing out, again, that Sean Newcomb's best baseball is likely ahead of him. He's still not yet 26 years old, after all. The walks might always be a problem, but it's at least worth keeping an open mind when you remember that the Braves have made a change in pitching coach, bringing in Rick Kranitz. Perhaps a new voice could be a game-changer for Newcomb's career. Having looked at the projections, what is a reasonable expectation for Braves fans regarding Newcomb in 2019? Want your voice heard? Join the Tomahawk Take team. Write for us. Next, what should Braves fans expect? Page 3 SAN Diego, California, June 5th, Sean Newcomb. Photo by Dennis Poroy, Getty Images, the near no hit wonder or the one who regularly struggles with the free pass.
It might not be pleasant to think about, but given Newcomb's crumbling down the stretch last year, 4.58 RF, 1.42 whip in the second half, and continued struggles this spring, it doesn't seem as if a huge turnaround is a reasonable thing to expect. Control problems are hard to escape at this level, and they've followed Newcomb since his days as a minor leaguer. It's also true that his repertoire as a pitcher is still evolving. He threw a significantly higher percentage of change-ups and a lower percentage of curve balls in 2018, but actually saw a decrease in whiff rates of both. Furthermore, it's important to keep in mind the situation surrounding Newcomb. Kyle Wright, Max Free, Tuke Toussaint and many others are chomping at the bit for spots in the Major League rotation. Newcomb's slight edge in experience isn't necessarily going to save him in this race. GM Alex Anthopoulos not so subtly made that distinction earlier this week, at Sports and Alex Anthopoulos on. Question now is will his production be? More from Tomahawk to K think it's reasonable to expect Newcomb to potentially see some time in the minors this year, possibly even to start the season, if Anthopoulos' comments hold true, would anybody really be that surprised if Wright, Fried and Toussaint all made the opening day roster ahead of Nuke, as much as we'd all like to see him make a huge leap in his third season the way Mike Fultonevich did, it seems as though he has more to overcome. It's hard to guess against the projections, though on the positive side, I'll say that I could see Newcomb trimming a bit more off his walk rate, maybe down to around 4.0 BB, 9, hopefully less, and keeping his era in the mid to upper 3, oh, thanks especially to a strong defense. It's difficult to envision much better than that. Next Braves vs Brewers Off the field as the old adage goes, however, that is why we play the games. They aren't won and lost on projections, but on performance. And Sean Newcomb's performance in 2019 will be very important to him, and the team.